Well, you're getting my first thought of the day early. It is almost 5.30. I went to bed early and then woke up earlier than I should have, and my brain won't, wouldn't let me get back to sleep, so I was recording my gaming video for today when through the headset, because if you've ever been a cat parent, there's some very distinctive sounds you do not miss, if you can hear them at all. <sighs> Having had long-haired cats really makes me want one of those skin kitties. The sphinxes, I think they're called. The ones that look like goblins. Because no hair means no hairballs. <sighs> all this hair... All this hair... <sighs> it's not your fault, but it's still disgusting. And n not something I like. I'm going to get back to XCOM now. So this is what it all looks like, all bagged up before I unload it from the car. Cases full of dice in there, cases full of dice in there, and there, the bag full of bags. So this is the science lab where I set up because it has nice broad tables, and the only chair that isn't moved out of the way is the one I'm going to be sitting in. All the others are out of the way so that folks can move around the benches because I lay my cases out on them in a flat layer so that people can move around and see things without having to stack and whatnot. But that'll make more sense once it's actually out. But I've gotten my space cleared, which is the first part. So this is the result of that next stage, which is getting all the cases of dice out of their luggage and into stacks of their individual type or category, because they're sorted by that in how I lay them out on these tables. All right, now everything's out. Well, everything that's going to be out is out, so. This is where I sit. My chair is out of the way at the moment. And the table I'm at has a couple of specific weird things, mini things that are easy to get lost. Blank dice, dwarven stone dice, a couple of cheat dice, which there's a caveat for, which is part of why they're by me, so people know what they're getting. These are sets of mini dice. Um, these ones glow in the dark. Um, the rest are just different colors and patterns. I'm going to start from this side. These are the rainbow of regular poly seven die sets in, well, a variety. Then there's ones with specific styles and patterns, like these are dragons, um, these are some, these are some elvish script, these are Cthulhu, um, these are ten die sets, meaning they have 44. These are sets of, well, they're not exactly sets, they do have an entire set and bonus dice. These are bags of 20 of some Chessex pattern dice. These are sets that have additional dice like D24s, D30s, these have D60s. These just go up to D30s because those are the biggest sets that could actually fit in the boxes. These couldn't fit. Then these, oh, 
this table, that table, and that, most of that nearer table are by denomination, by color. So D4s, D6, which of course I have the most of, so <laughs> takes up most of a table all by itself. And this is just um, standard ones, not ones with icons. Those are over there. Then D8 and 10s and percent. Then we go over here. 12s and 20s and then these are shards oh that reminds me I have something new that I have to put out because I got some sets that have these in them these are d30s and then these are loose dice that coordinate with each other and specifically match. They are the exact same dice as some of the match sets over there, which is why I keep them separate. So that if people get one of those sets and want some additional dice that go with them, this is where they can find them. Then over here, these are icon D6, meaning either on the one or the six, there's an icon. These are the weirdos that are not normal polyhedron well, gaming dice. They're the polyhedrons, but they're not regular gaming dice. Some have icons, pluses or minuses, random other shit. I don't know why. So the weirdos get shunned. And then there's bags. These are not all the bags I have. I only put out some of them at a time because I don't need the whole bag full of bags all laid out because I'm not going to go through them all. The new thing I got, and I even made a little thing to point them out, is these. These are hybrid sets. Um, they have 10 dice. Hybrid means they have some standard dice like the d12 and 20, but others are shards. That is a shard d4. It's basically a rectangle with points on the end. Um, but so these are new and because these don't fit in these cases I had to store them separately which is why I didn't remember until I saw the shards that I needed to put these out but that's everything well I just got home it's a little after 1230 but that's pretty normal for these trips got some socializing done. I got some dice selling done. Hi, fuzzy girl. This bag has some stuff for you from the friend I saw. There's a feeding enrichment thing and it looks like a scratching thingamajig that I haven't had the opportunity to really take a look at. Um, so that can Wait until I've slept, but she's already sticking her head in there because it will smell like they're cats, at least a little bit. So that should be interesting all on its own for her. But I get to slap together the clips that I've taken throughout the day and see how that goes. And then talk to you technically later today. Technically.